Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. Now, we are two days away from the Game Awards, so I decided, hey, I haven't voted yet, so we're definitely going to do that. But first, before we do anything, I'm uh, going to player's voice right here. Make sure you guys vote for Sonic. I want it to beat Genshit Impact, you know. But, uh, yeah, Sonic Sweep. There we go. I already voted for Sonic for Tears. That's good. Now, this video is going to be for all the nominees, so we're going to press start voting, and, uh, yeah, um, I'm actually going to go all the way, oh, uh, oh, we're going to have to go to one category at a time, so, uh, if you like this video, or if you think my picks are alright, then, uh, leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and, uh, I am going to be reacting to the Game Awards. Um, I won't be live streaming it because my Wi-Fi is literally the worst. But I am going to be recording it and reacting with my friend. So I'm going to try and uh, get it uploaded probably the next day. So I'm going to get it uploaded on the 9th. Or like hopefully uh, before the 10th because I have other videos that day. So uh, yeah. Stay tuned for my reaction to the Game Awards this year. Um, <laughs> Thursday night is going to be fun. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with this. So, game of the year. Um, I'm going to either say Elden Ring or God of War Ragnarok. Um, I'm not going to vote for Xenoblade because at least it got nominated, and honestly, it's not going to win. Honestly, I think it's either going to be God of War, Ragnarok, or Elden Ring, to be completely honest. Um, God of War won in 2018, honestly, so, uh, and I know Elden Ring's really good, um, but honestly, I'm going to go with God of War, cause, uh, God of War keeps on winning. I'm just gonna go with Elden Ring for best game direction, uh, cause why not, um, best narrative, I'm just gonna just... Not gonna lie, I feel like just voting a bunch of, uh, these games, um, just gonna vote for all these, um, if I don't really, uh, honestly, I think Stray has pretty good art, cause, you know, it's a cat, it's a kitty. Alright, best score in music, um, I'm gonna go Xenoblade for this one, at least, cause, uh, yes. Alright, uh, Call of Duty, uh, God of War, Gran Turismo, best audio design. I don't, I'm, I'll just go with Elden Ring or whatever. Best performance. I'm just gonna go God of War. Games for Impact. I'm just gonna just go random. Uh, best ongoing. Um, I'm probably either gonna it's either Final Fantasy or Genshin, honestly. But uh, I guess I'll go. F mm. All right, I'll go with Final Fantasy. Best indie game. Um, lots of good ones. I know Cult of the Lamb's pretty good. Tunic's amazing as well. Sifu's good. Neon White is pretty good. All of these are really good uh, indie games, honestly. I've heard of. But I'm going to go with uh, Tunic. Honestly. Um, best mobile game. Hmm. I'll go with Genshin Impact, actually. It's the only one I know. Best community support. I feel like Destiny 2 is going to win it, but uh, I'm just going to go with Final Fantasy again. Um, innovation of ex ex accessibility. 
I'll go God of War, I guess. Oh, I already know what I'm picking. I'm going to pick Amogus because Sussy Baka. All right. Best action game. I'm going to go Bayonetta 3, baby. All right. Best action and adventure game. I guess I'll go God of War, actually. Yeah. It's going to win most of it anyway. Best role-playing game. Yeah, Pokemon Legend. All right, all right, you have Live a Lot. A lot of these. Um, I'm going to go Xenoblade, actually. Best fighting game. King Vile. I'm going to go Multiverses because <laughs> I'm sensing God Eater status of <laughs> Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Best family game. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, If Kirby... I'm going to go... And then Splatoon. I... I already seen Splatoon in, in the multiplayer category, so I'm going to vote for that one. But I'm going to go Mario plus Rabbits, Sparks of Hope. I haven't continued it yet, but uh, I want to continue it soon. Uh, I'm going to go Mario plus Rabbits for this one again. The Sports Gran Turismo. Multiplayer, Splatoon 3. There we go. Oh, you know I have to go for Nebelian. Uh, I know Carl and Ludwig are really good too, but I'm just going to go Nebelian because I've heard Nebelian officially retired from his Twitter. He was posting a bunch of news, so I'm definitely going to go Nebelian. Uh, I'm going to go Stray, I guess. Next category. Best Adaptation. Um, Let's just say Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Let, let's keep winning. Alright. Most anticipated game. You already know. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A.K.A. Breath of the Wild 2. Let's get it. Let's go. Alright. Best esports game. I'm just going to pick. I'm just, I, I, I guess I'm going to go with my brother's favorite game. I guess. Um, I'll go with simple because... Basically, he's close to Simp. <laughs> Some of you guys remember Simp from last year. I'm going to go with FaZe for the eSports team because it's FaZe Clan. Come on. Um, I'm going to go Doom Bros for the eSports coach. And the last one, eSport event, EVO 2020. There we go. I voted all of them. There we go. I've already voted for everything. So, uh, yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, eight minute video. Pretty decent. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys, uh, on the 8th. So, in two days for the Game Awards. And, uh, yeah. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'll see you guys uh, on Thursday for the Game Awards. Uh, but uh, I'm probably going to like upload the full reaction or like the highlight reaction of what I did re technically react to like Friday. So the next day, I mean. So uh, I'll see you guys on the 8th slash the 9th for the Game Awards. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Later, guys. Thanks for watching and deuces.